What's going on, everybody? Terrell here, back again with a new review for an anticipated show, Yu Yu Hakusho, coming to Netflix. I know when I say coming to Netflix, people get scared. You know, it's a Netflix show, but it's coming Thursday, December 14th to Netflix. It's going to be a five episode series. Uh, I thought it would be longer too. Five episode series uh, coming to Netflix. Uh, if you if you holding your manga right now for you Hak the show, uh, you know if you if you holding that classic manga that you used to have, uh, I just want to let you know, put that down, put it down. It's it's no point in you put it's no point in even reading it. No, don't even refer to it. If you just finished watching the 112 episodes of you Hak the show, probably on a whatever streaming service you have. Don't even look at that. Don't even look at that. Go go right in here and watch this new show. Uh, if you haven't if you haven't read this, this is you know the original series by Yoshihiro, Yoshihiro uh, to Togahashi. Want well, to make sure I had that right? Um, well, you, you are like I said, you for the most part you already know it too. If you if you're a lot like me, um, if you watched that tsunami block back in the day, uh, if you remember you're coming on somewhere between five and five thirty. Uh, if you just if you uh, didn't have the money like me and you took VHS tapes and you recorded for the five episodes of the week just so you can go back and watch your hockey show because one of your favorite shows then I can tell you right now you're not going to like this show you're absolutely just not going to like this show I, I went in this with the highest of expectations which is probably already my number one fault the one thing you don't want to do is go into this even comparing anything and expecting something to be expecting this to be like whatever right this this Yu Hakusho, show which is based on the on the manga on the anime uh you have to show pretty much is his own thing here um if you've seen hate to compare it but death note on uh netflix i wouldn't say it's as bad as that but it's definitely at the bottom of the list. I, I don't know how we've gotten back to this point after Cowboy Bebop, which I thought was fun. I, I, I like Cowboy Bebop. I see it was the greatest thing in the world, but I did like the fact that the acting was good. I did like the fact that it was going in its own direction and it was able to do its own thing. If you've seen the ending of that, you know, Spike Spike dies in the original show, they completely say, hey, we're not, we're not doing that here. Um, but yeah, this is just an entire. This is this show is just something else entirely. Um, this this show feels first of all, it feels like it was made to originally be a movie, like it was going to be one of those TV anime movies, but somehow it made it to five episodes. Like they 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 had extra footage or something. They was like, hey, let's let's do this, let's do this as five episodes. Um, and right, I mean, if you've seen the trailer um i don't know what to tell you um all i can say because I, I can't i'm not spoiling anything all i can say is that things are not where they should be and things don't transpire as they should <laughs> things are not where they should be and they don't transpire as they should um i i i went into this i watched it um and i ultimately i was just let down oh man and this because with this just being the 30th anniversary of the show, um, I absolutely just let down. Uh, my expectations were high. You know, if you just come, if you just come in to watch this review, or you watch the show, you know, after seeing One Piece, and you're like, man, Netflix is is, is on the roll. Not with this. Not with this. This this man, Yusuke. You know, the, the actor that played Yusuke. I thought spot on. I thought, you know, Kobara spot on. They didn't get the the Pompeii, the you know, the look of the, of the hair, the the the, the, the Pomodoro, uh exactly right. Uh, I mean, I think they didn't even do it at all. Uh but I felt I still felt like he felt like Kobara. Um I still felt like, you know, Keiko felt like Keiko. Um this show expands upon a lot of things that you don't get to see or you didn't see in the anime. Or in the manga, so some some stuff that led into certain things, or you know whatever, they kind of give a little bit more of, but it's still not enough to to justify what's being done in the show. Um, I don't even want to say the word. I I feel like I got a spat in my face. Like I'm like, did anybody care about the source material? 
if this is based on that like it, I, I just i don't know I, I i don't know what i expected maybe it was a budget thing maybe uh you know one piece got the millions of dollars and this got like you know whatever the budget was which i don't think i don't think for the particular type of show you needed a big budget but yeah um it uh again don't don't expect to get what you think you're gonna get i i think if you if you think about that i think you'll be happy if you don't have expectations going into this as i did um it's, it's phenomenal of a of a show and a book that is i think you'll get out your feelings and be like hey you know it was okay they tried you, you can say that they tried um <laughs> there's some easter eggs um for for the fans um that's kind of the sprinkled in so make sure you listen um and pay attention there's some some uh some easter eggs that are there um again if you watch the anime don't don't expect nothing um uh, you know it feels like to me like cosplay version youtube you know with a with a Netflix, sort of netflix budget uh I, i'm not trying to go in i'm not trying to you know it's just disappointed absolutely disappointed um again like i said they expand more um of what you don't see the the whole entire situation that happens the yusuke uh I, they go in a little bit more detail of that they've never shown before which i was like oh, okay I, I was i was like okay i was appreciating seeing that um it feels completely rushed uh five episodes if you if you know if you know how i know how the story is paced and it, it, it feels rushed they miss so many important things that give these characters life that build them um it misses beats on the emotion of the manga and the show specifically the show as i ref the anime as i reference this um it, it, it i mean it just the moments where I, I broke down and like i had tears watching that show they just fly right past it like it, it it's just what was even the point um like i said it feels rushed like they gotta get from one thing to the other it feels like watching rise of skywalker and you walk in here like wait what 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 happened <laughs> um yeah just just misses everything man um and just disappoints me which ultimately really pisses me off it just drops the ball on so many so many points man and you could be like you, you could be like go oh, episode two like man we're here already episode like okay it's only five episodes maybe this no yeah, it's exactly what you where you think this is going and it sucks unfortunately i hate to say that that's not the word i want to use but i was let down and it sucked um we uh <laughs> ah see you get smoking a bit in here i feel like we didn't really get that maybe that's a japan thing they didn't want to show characters smoking and stuff like that but we see uh we see uh thug yusuke delinquent yusuke smoking cracking some cigarettes uh which i just wanted to point out because you feel like you really see that like i said you don't see that maybe, maybe that's just a us uh, uh, you know one piece sanji thing um the uh the cgi ah i just know they could have did better i just know they could have did better um goki some of the the the, pop, uh, the abilities like the spirit gun's fine but everything else disappointed the uh this is not a spoiler but for those people that have seen you how show you've seen this the artifacts if you see what they look like in the show or the book you telling me you couldn't have found something better there? You couldn't you couldn't have found something that matched that a little bit more that looked better than this? And then you CGI'd it for what? Uh, and that, 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 uh, again, I'm getting out my feelings about it, but stupid. Um, ah, a lot of the a lot of fights that should be there are missing. A lot of fights that uh, that I was expecting that should is a part of the story but i guess if you i guess if you look at this it's just hey this is its own thing it's just based on it then you can be like all right but it's still again it feels rushed um you know some of the fighting like i said that they do do it i do think they did a pretty good pretty decent job uh, i've seen better but i think they did a pretty decent job here um and for whatever reason everything's at night <laughs> i guess that's just the best, best way to hide you know cgi stuff like that um just disappointed again things are not where they should be and happening the way you know xyz um if you're a fan of you hot the show probably tell you not to watch this to be honest um just really just pissed me off 
Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm just so I, I, I'm ultimately just disappointed. Um, this is not this is not what I grew up on. This is not what I remember. This is not what I have the the Blu-ray set for. You know, like you know, I've, 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 I've talked about the show, um, the manga, everything, um, and expecting this to be good. And so many hype, you know, as they said, this is not 20, over 25 years, 30 years, whatever, since we've never got a live action and they dropped the ball with this. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, again, this is supposed to be coming out December 14th on Netflix. Uh, again, if I didn't go over the plot, uh, if you didn't already know, I'm sure everybody watching this is like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm watching this review to see what's up with the show. Uh, a delinquent teenager is killed and gets resurrected to serve as an investigator of the supernatural, a spirit detective. Uh, so we get that. Um, you know, Yusuke Karamahie Koabara. Um, as you see in the trailer, we get Tagoro. We see younger Tagoro. Um, yeah. You probably, you probably noticed you've seen some other things that shouldn't be there. If you really pay attention to that trailer, some people that shouldn't be there. Okay. Anyway. Uh, the show's coming out, uh, directed by uh, Sho Suki Sikikawa. Well, I'll make sure I got that right. And Tatsuru Mishima is the writer. Uh, what else did he write right now? And I'm sitting here looking at this. Um, uh, Zomb 100, okay, that just came out. So, uh, yeah, uh, I don't think the dialogue, I don't think the dialogue or the acting was necessarily bad. It was just everything else. Um, and the story is, this ain't what I wanted. <laughs> this, this, yeah, you, you ain't do this no favors. Please, at this point, like, if you can unrelease this and erase it from my memory, I would, I would like that. Um, but anyway, uh, coming, uh, Thursday, December 14th, leave me a comment below. Please let me know what you thought about this. Uh, if you had the same feelings as me, um, you feel like this is, this is, you know, I'm, I'm doing too much and this is, you know, the best they could do. Let me know. Uh, but ultimately Terrell's here saying, um, this is like a 1.5 out of five and it gets the, it gets the one for trying and the half for, for being short. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to be me. Uh, but yeah, uh, 1.5 out of five, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. You have the show coming December 14th. This show sucks. Um, and let me know what you think, guys. And on that note, I'll see you next time for another review. See you next time.